Today we're taking a look at the Steelcase Leap V2. This is the Steelcase Leap V2 review. So take a look at the Steelcase Leap V2. This chair costs a fortune. That can't be denied. It's around $942 on Amazon. And a lot of you might be asking, what makes this chair so special? And that's what I'm going to cover in this review. So right now we're just going to take a look kind of like at what the chair looks like. So you got a kind of a curve right here. Nice and straight. The arms are pretty simple looking, nothing too fancy. Fabric is kind of like a wooly material. Some people find it's rough, but it's really durable. I don't find it's too rough, even though in my old steel case chair over time it does get a little bit of rough, but nothing you can't fix with a little shirt over the back or something like that. This is the back design. It's got this unique bridge like that. It has a little steel case logo, nice little touch there. Got the curve right here. It has a lot of ventilation, little bridges for your back to breathe. So you can see here you have the adjustable lumbar support. I have an article on my website where I talk about how to adjust that lumbar support and I even took it out to kind of experiment with it to see what it was like without the lumbar support. I ended up putting it back in, but the easy thing is, is that it's easy to take in and out of the chair. So moving on from there, there isn't really too much else about the chair. You know, from a style point of view, you got the base, the wheels, and then you got all these adjustments. You got the seat depth right here. That's going to make the chair seat go in and out. Very easy to adjust. You just pull, pull back. Right here, you got the seat height. Makes the chair go up and down. You got the back tension and the back stops. Back stops is what makes the chair lock in a couple different positions. Now, the back tension is one of the defining features of highly ergonomic chairs. So basically what it does is as you put pressure it's gonna give you some pushback so that tension supports your back. So as you lean back you can see it stops and supports me. Lean forward, stops and support me. Stop. You can lean back pretty far in this chair like so. Armrests right here can support you which is good. So this is actually pretty comfortable like this and then as you'll notice the seat actually moves forward when you are moving like that. So here we go, adjusts. It's a unique feature called the natural glide system. It makes it, uh, leaning back a lot more comfortable in this chair than some of the other steel case alternatives or other ergonomic chairs. When I lean back in the steel case think chair, I noticed that it didn't really feel quite as good on my back as it does on this chair. So when I lean back in this chair, my lumbar support is still supporting me. And then, that's one reason why the chair is designed like this. It has this huge gap right here, so the chair is like opening up when you recline. So one thing I like about this chair, going back to the style for a little bit, is just like how simple it looks. It's a very simple looking chair. You know, it doesn't have like a ton of extra padding on it. It's just kind of, it feels like more simple than the Steelcase V1. It's not as padded. You know, it's not as cool. All right, so I want to talk a little bit more about the, the features of the chair. One of the defining features of the Steelcase Sleep and a lot of Steelcase chairs is the arms. You could swivel the arms just like this. So if you want them out of the way, swivel them like that. I like them kind of close in like this. So that way I could kind of use them as like an elbow rest. Especially when I'm leaning back like this. So then you can also move them up too. So you go up and you can still swivel. So there you go, more of a forearm kind of thing. And then move it back. So there you go, it's very adjustable. You can also move them up and down very easily, as high as you want. So this is another feature right here. I don't like my lower back to be too firm because I found that in my older chair right here, I think the cushioning wore down a little bit in the lower back. So I didn't notice too much back support. This one has a lot more cushion right here that I'm noticing. So I don't want it to be too firm. But if you want, you could dial the spring up just by going like this. And then it makes the back more firm. It's not really using the lumbar support to do so. So the lumbar support is a pretty simple device back here. It's mainly just plastic um, you know, support behind the foam. But what this is doing, it's kind of like bunching it up or like tightening it in some way which makes it feel tighter and more supportive. So if you really like a firm lumbar support, 
The back firmness is something that you're really going to like. Not too many ergonomic chairs have this feature. It's actually pretty complicated. So you're not going to see it in the Think or the Amia. Um, you're not going to see it in the really the gesture either. And that's definitely going to be missing the adjustability of the lumbar support. So I'm not going to adjust this right now because I have it at the perfect setting. It, it takes a little bit of fiddling to get the perfect setting. But what you're going to do is you're just going to slide it up. It's really easy. You slide it up or down to the you know, height you want it. So now that I've kind of gone over a lot of the features and stuff like that, what do I think of the chair? So coming from a Steelcase V1 chair that I've been sitting in for years, it was a little bit of adjustment, like I said, because the padding in the back, it was a lot more supportive and getting used to the lumbar support. The first two days I actually had some significant back pain getting used to the chair. I was worried I wasn't going to be able to get used to it. But then around day three, I started noticing less back pain, back pain and the chair started feeling even better. And By day four, the chair felt like perfect and I was really liking the shape of the, the back design. I was really getting accustomed to it. And leaning back just feels awesome. The support on your butt is really good. It's firm, but it's soft. So throughout, during the day, it'll feel supportive. But at the end of the day, you might get you know, a sore butt or something like that. But that means you've been sitting in the chair way too long as is. You know, you don't want to sit in this chair, you know, it's good for 8 to 12 hours, but once you get to that mark, there's nothing really you can do besides, you know, your body's just going to feel fatigued. So, one thing I also wanted to note here, which I like, is the waterfall edge kind of taper here. And this chair didn't really have that. It had a design where it had a lever that kind of pushed the seat down a little bit. This one kind of tapers off a little bit, which I like. So, getting used to the back was like the biggest thing for me. Um, but now I've gotten used to it, I really like it. The back is really flexible, so as you can see here, just like doing this, it's even good to just like kind of stretch out during the day. And another thing I really like coming from the Steelcase V1 is the arms. I really like how adjustable the arms are. On my old chair, the arms didn't go forward and back. This one they do, which makes a really huge difference because I like using my armrests you know, close to me like this. I don't like using them like this, which you had to kind of do on this chair. This one you could swivel. You could swivel these, but you couldn't move them forward and back. So that's a pretty big difference. And I've noticed that leaning back is a lot more comfortable on the chair and just using the chair in a lot of different setups is a lot more ergonomic for my hands and my, you know, keyboard and stuff like that. When I'm playing games, having your hands supported like that makes a huge difference. I don't want to compare it too much to the Steelcase V1 chair though because a lot of people are going to be coming from low end ergonomic chairs or chairs from Office Depot that aren't ergonomic at all. So this chair you're going to notice huge improvement. One thing you're going to love is the back tension. You're going to love the, the adjustability of the lumbar support. You're going to love how you can flex in the back. Overall I would say that this is probably the best ergonomic chair out there for the price. Now you could get a cheaper ergonomic chair for around 642 Ergo Human chair. That's a good option too if you're really, you know, not wanting to go past that six seven hundred dollar point. But if you could spend nine hundred dollars on an office chair, and not many people can, but if you can, this is going to be the best experience you're going to get. And these chairs have like a ten to twelve year warranty. Now this chair right here that I have, it was actually designed in. 2001 so it's a 16 year old chair and it's still going pretty strong you know padding might be a little worn out might be a little scratchy but armrest still works still goes up and down still a fantastic chair Woo! so if you're wondering if this chair is worth you know $942 and you're coming from someone who's only spent $50 to $100 on a chair you got to think about how long you're going to use the chair? Are you going to be using the chair eight to ten hours a day? You're probably going to want an ergonomic chair. You're going to be using a chair one to two hours a day. You're probably not going to want an ergonomic chair unless you want those one to two hours per day to feel absolutely amazing. Now, you got to think about it. Also, is this chair going to last me this long? So, if that's nine hundred dollars over ten to twelve years, that's not that much money. And that's what these chairs really are. You get the premium design build quality. You're not going to see any arms that could do this in cheaper chairs. The arm texture on this is like, it's almost like memory foam. It's squishy. It's comfortable. It's back support. Flexible. Supportive. 